Okay, so what we're going to do next is uh, autoclave uh, the media that we've prepared for the lab. Uh, I've already got some loaded up in it, and I'm going to take this test tube rack full of uh, media and put it into the autoclave. We've also got some flask of broth and auger that we want to get in here. It'll work. I'm gonna have to do this. We have a small autoclave at Western Texas College, and sometimes space is a matter of uh, well, it's just a matter. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna try putting the flask in. There we go. Put my test tubes in. All right, good. We got it loaded. Now what we have to do is take distilled water, and what we'll do is fill up the uh, autoclave with distilled water, and the autoclave will heat that um, water to boiling, and then some. And the fact that it's a sealed unit will create pressure. Uh, these controls right here and these knobs uh, all tell us, uh, in fact, we're going to be uh, autoclaving this at about 245 degrees Fahrenheit and the pressure will reach around uh, between 13 and 15 pounds per square inch. And in order to effectively kill bacteria and spores, it needs to be at that temperature and at that pressure for 15 minutes. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll close up the front door, set the timer for 15 minutes. The timer won't start right now. It will wait till the temperature is up and the pressure is up and once it reaches the, the set pressure and temperature, then your 15 minutes will begin. Okay, so normally you have to wait for the entire 15 minutes plus some cool down time and some depressurization time. You cannot open this door while this is under pressure. It will blow out. It's got um, an awful lot of pressure. People might think that 15 pounds per square inch, per square inch does not sound like that much pressure, uh, but indeed it, it really is. So you're forcing that temperature, that hot 245 degree uh, gas of water vapor into the spores, into the bacterial cell, uh, breaking it apart and uh, killing it uh, from the genetic level on out to the structural level. Okay, so uh, what I've done um, is we've run the autoclave through its cycle and uh, I've drained the hot water out of it, okay, in order to, uh, we want this media to start cooling down and uh, before you reach in there, uh, it's best to get that really hot water on out of there. I've already drained it, uh, I've opened it up and I'm going to remove our samples and show you what we do with them. I've got my autoclave gloves on because everything is very hot at this point. Sometimes a cap falls off, and what you do is uh, you pick it up within three seconds. It's called the three second rule. If you pick it up off the floor in three seconds or less, it's still considered sterile. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I know that th uh, this is a short rack. Uh, we didn't mark this, but uh, let me do this. I set this down. I'm going to pull out some broth. This is auger. I'm going to show you guys how to pour some plates. Okay, you guys will be working with some nutrient broth. Uh, this is nutrient broth. That means it's going to be a liquid whether it's hot or cold. Uh, as you'll notice, when you're looking at them side by side, this is auger, this is broth, it's impossible to tell which is which because they're both in liquid state at this moment. 
All right, so we short sided this rack. I know that this is auger and not bra, and we want to make some deeps and some slants, okay? So there, there are these uh, boards uh, that are specially made in order to uh, take your test tube full of liquid auger and uh, let them cool and harden at a particular angle. Uh, the reason why we make slants is because that basically with the auger hardening at a slant like this in the test tube, that increases the surface area that you can grow organisms on, okay? If you've got a deep, the only surface area that you have would be located just at the very top, okay? We're going to make a slant, okay? And you can see how much more surface area there is in order to grow organisms. And all you do is you take the liquefied auger and you just place them, let me move this so you can see, place them in the uh, slant box. They are warm, that's why I'm doing this pretty quickly. Let's see, we only need we don't need that, that many. The rest will be deeps. Okay, so what we're going to let these test tubes do is cool now, and uh, you guys will be doing some uh, uh, anaerobic uh, exercises where you're gonna, going to be growing anaerobic organisms, and we're going to do that by virtue of a deep. All right, so this is one of the types of tubes that we use to grow organisms the deep, the slant, and then the liquid broth.